So in this video, we're gonna check out the searching and saved product status. Now, what does that mean? So in this inner band here, you've got all these little circles and you've got this little flashing green dot here and you've also got these links. So let's just have a look at one of these panels for the moment. This is the product search panel and an indication of what's going on in the product search uh, page right now. The green dot that's flashing indicates to me that there is a search currently in progress. Now, of course, if you've got green dots running on any of these, they will all indicate the same thing. And in the master suite, of course, you have the product search, flips, reverse search, library search, and wholesale, and you can actually get all of these scans running at once and have all of these flashing green simultaneously, which is gonna get you a lot of data to check. So uh, you also have quick links, any of these links down here at the bottom, search, view, and saved, will take you directly to the uh, search page, the analysis or the view data page for that particular style of search, and the saved room where you've saved any products that you may wanna check later on. So these circles here, the outer circle actually indicates the number of products you currently have added to your view data page, and the inner circle indicates the number of products you have allocated to your saved data page. Now, as you can see right now, as we have a scan running on product search, we are currently adding products to the view data page and the number of products is being added accordingly here. Also, this little circle will continue to fill up until we've hit the maximum number of products that we can save on the view data page. And that's the same for the inner circle for the saved data page. Currently, I've got 513 items saved in my saved data room, and uh, I can continue to add that up to the maximum cap. Now, the saved data room is actually shared with uh, for product search, which is shared with reverse and wholesale. And uh, Amazon Flips and Library have their own saved data rooms, and therefore their numbers are different. But the reason why the saved data total is the same for saved, reverse, and wholesale is because the, uh, the room where we save that data is the same across all, across all of those types of scans. So that is the, uh, the save and search uh, bars in the middle here and what they do. And uh, we'll check out the rest of the page in the next video.